Hi YouTube, I am Karen Hamilton, I am 28 years old, um, I just woke up this morning and thought that I'd share my story with you all on October 2011, the 20th of October, I was diagnosed with locally advanced triple negative breast cancer. Uh, my diagnosis came, I probably wouldn't say a shock, but to be 27, I was 27 at the time when I was diagnosed, it was like a low blow in the sense that I was not expecting to hear that from my doctor. But I had a, a surgery. Um, on the 27th of September, that same year, 2011, and I'm supposed to go back to my post-operative um, post-op after the surgery, and my doctor called me on the 18th of October saying, you gotta come into the hospital two days after. So, to me, I'm like, something is wrong because I'm supposed to go back on the 27th of October and you call me on the 18th and tell me to come in on the 20th. And I'm thinking, like, something is wrong. So, I went and I told my friend, I'm like, you know, something is probably not right because why would they call me two days before to tell me to come in? when I'm supposed to go back on the 27th. So, two days after I went to the hospital, which is in Tobago, at the Scarborough Regional Hospital, I went to the hospital. And when I went into the room, he was like, I have some bad news. And I'm like, what? And he was like, you have breast cancer. I know. 28, 27 at the time with breast cancer, that's like you're not hoping to hear that so my question to him was like, what are my options and he said you have to remove the breast so he said I said, so when? he said, I have scheduled a surgery for you on the 1st of November <sighs> I know but anyhow, I called my cousin, she told me not to do it, let me get a second opinion, and everybody else who I spoke to, my friends, all my friends, my very good friends I have, told me, get a second opinion. So I did. And today, I'm here in New York, getting a second opinion. So far, I have completed, let me see. 12 weeks of chemotherapy twice a day I mean sorry twice a week and six and a half weeks of radiation every day Monday to Friday my only break would have been on the weekends I have completed that that Saturday in January my chemotherapy finished in April and my radiation finished in March early in March I have then went on to do a mastectomy of the left breast that was on April 24th that went well and I have finally started about my chemotherapy so on the 31st of May sorry I started about my chemotherapy this chemotherapy however is a much stronger chemotherapy it's two chemos in one but I do this like every two weeks so I had my first session on the 31st of May then I had my second session on June today is June 14th sorry 2012 
and I have after this I have two more sessions of chemotherapy well so far from the beginning from January up until May I've been doing good I have not been sick I have been coming home after my chemotherapy doing stuff with my family out here going out you know trying to have a good time trying not to think about my cancer diagnosis but now with this new chemotherapy that I'm doing it's pretty tough when I say tough I mean tough the first day I did it I'm not I wasn't sick two days after Saturday I've been in bed from Saturday Sunday and also Monday unable to do anything at all any anything it's just I sleep through the day sleep get up eat take a shower back to bed and that's what I've been doing for three days after and it's to say it's gonna be the same thing until I'm done with this chemotherapy which is gonna be I have two more sessions remaining that I have to take and after that I'll be done with chemotherapy waiting to do my reconstruction which I'm looking forward to because as I said I had a mastectomy and for those of you who don't know what a mastectomy is it is the removal of the entire breast including the areola and all of that I must say that you know talking to young people even to young people with breast cancer breast cancer is something that has been plaguing us for years and I just want to say this is not nothing to be ashamed of if you have breast cancer it's nothing to be ashamed of we didn't cause this on ourselves you know and today June 14 I got back my results from my genetics test and I'm so happy because I was tested negative for both the BRCA1 and BRCA2 which is a mutation that some people with breast cancer they have and with that mutation your chances of getting cancer a second time or a third time even in the ovaries is is much greater so i just want to say you know it's it was a sign of relief for me based on the decisions that i wanted to do which was to remove my other breasts in reconstruction but now no fine now now that i have not had a mutation which I am negative for the both BRCA1 and BRCA2 I'm so happy that I could just do the one reconstruction on the left breast and be done I must say for all the cancer survivors out there continue continue to do the wonderful job that you all have been doing so far trying to beat this disease and you know for you the young people out there it's not too early I should say to get tested to get a mammogram get a ultrasound you know because at the end of the day finding out the earlier you find out it's the better for you and I want to say just keep your head up you know that's what I've been doing I've been keeping my head up because if you take on this disease and you continue to let it get you down what's gonna happen so I want to say you know keep holding strong and we are gonna beat this disease and I must say you know one of my means of survival in the sense that I have my my daughter she just turned four on the 10th of june i have her back in tobago you know and she's waiting for me well, in the sense waiting for me i mean that she needs me as her mother and that's who i've been living for my god and my daughter and i just i miss her so much because she's gonna be coming here to meet me very soon and i can't wait to see her but that has been like the the person that has been getting me through this because I know I'm thinking like I have to live for my daughter and that's what I've been doing um, that's it oh I forget one thing 
my hair has finally started to fall out look my hair is coming out it's finally coming out after from January to now it has finally started to drop like this morning I woke up and I was like my hair is coming out but I'm saying that like your hair is like the last thing you should be worried about getting better is what you should you know should be your main focus I ain't scared that I'm gonna lose my hair if I lose my hair so what hair's gonna grow back so I just wanna say you know hold of faith to all my cancer survivors keep you know, just keep holding on, keep up the faith, thank God, because without him we are nothing, that has been like my rock in the time that I need, and that's it, probably I'll be back with a video when I'm ready to get, get rid of like this here, okay, stay tuned guys, thank you.